Okay, here we are again at 4935 Hopton Loop in Dayton, Ohio. And this is the Northridge School District. This is a four bedroom, two and a half baths. It's actually three and a half baths. That's wrong on the MLS. 1,972 square feet above ground and on a qu uh, almost a quarter acre lot, 0.2 of an acre. So a fifth of an acre. And um, what's cool about this is that you do have basically no neighbors over here, um, which is the side. But on this house, since it's on a corner lot, and then there is a house behind it, as you'll see in a second, this is really kind of like the backyard in a way because it's sort of more private, um, where the backyard, technically the backyard is, is right facing um, some neighbors. So, but anyway, this is a Ryan development as uh, kind of normal with Ryan is uh, there are modern layouts and modern designs and uh, you know basically a, a lot of uh, vinyl on the exterior so you'll see uh, the vinyl soffit here and all the way up there all look like they're in good condition can't really see the roof uh, but it's probably original to 2008 and so you know it's getting up there on its lifespan probably a little bit uh, better than uh, or a little bit more than a half of its lifespan left so one thing that's pretty normal with Ryan homes is that these fr front stairways in the front stoops or maybe even the walkways uh, have some settling issues so uh, what you can see right here is these steps um, are newer so you see the differences in color they probably basically put in new stairs in a new stoop uh, due to some of it probably cracking or something like that but it's it is newer um, where you can see there's some lines right here where uh, there probably was a previous stairwell or uh, concrete steps that led up to the front stoop here and uh, there was another level so you probably had multiple levels or this was actually raised up at one point and sunk down over time which is very very normal uh, for Ryan homes and it's very easy to actually fix those if you want to lift this portion right here um, it's only about five hundred dollars uh, from a1 concrete or like services and um, and basically what they do is you just basically inflate They'll dig a hole underneath the, the stoop here and then they'll inflate it with this foam that turns into concrete and it actually expands and rises and makes everything lift. So the reason why I'm bringing that up is this, this is sort of a, a steep step right here and it's probably gonna get caught by the inspection by somebody. So either this sunk in or they redid it and then didn't do enough as far as stairwells, the stairs to go up it. Um, I do believe that's new. But uh, other than that, everything looks okay. You do have a little bit of paint flaking off, very minor, um, which should be sh uh, sealed up uh, so that you don't have wood rot on the pillar right there. Um, but overall, it looks like the exterior is pretty, um, pretty normal, you know, is what you would see with the vinyl siding and the vinyl soffits. Uh, the garage door looks actually like it's newer. Uh, looks almost brand new, so I don't know if they had an issue, maybe. Um, sometimes people back up into them and uh, potentially have an issue with that. One thing that's kind of good to see is that they actually did have a drain extension right here. The normal ones that you kind of see right here, which was probably original to the house, just doesn't do enough. Um, it really should be, and this really, really would be better going longer and away from a house, especially one with a basement, which this does have a basement. So, um, you know, no other issues that I can see of. There's some minor cracking right here um, on the front portion of the foundation. And uh, so, but that's very minor. Nothing really to look at. So this HVAC system, I think is original, but it looks really good. Um, the, especially the trying to see a date in there I don't see a date but especially the the AC unit looks very new uh, new looks like they actually had um, uh, some some probably like a storage for uh, now that probably is from pressure washing you see these little designs right here probably is from pressure washing I'm guessing um, and they tried to get something that was stuck to it off 
Uh, but anyway, so you have some downspouts again, getting the water away from it. That's good. It would be better to be longer, um, but that's better than what you'd normally see. So that's actually a good thing. And um, everything else looks okay. There's a nice deck back here. It's a smaller deck, but very nice. Uh, looks like it's a good quality. Uh, it's a good quality um, construction. So sturdy. Um, that's a very nice deck. Uh, that has a grill on it and uh, okay so then you can see more of the foundation right here all looks pretty good except for the corner so the corner you can see some of um, some of the, the front part of the concrete kind of flaking off as you do see pretty regularly in the in uh, corners like that and this is sort of like the private area right here. All this, that goes very, very deep back there. Um, okay, so then here you see some of the uh, concrete fl flaking off. The, the parging on the front of the concrete right here needs to be reglazed on this side. Um, there is definitely some metal that's popping, um, that's shown, that should be covered up and uh, so that needs to be attended to very easy to do just um just hasn't been done and probably because this is on the side that you really don't get a much uh visibility from so probably nobody thought about it uh, pretty normal but otherwise the parging looks good all the way around except for that one section and uh there is a fire hydrant right there that little yellow and blue on top so that's kind of good to see that it helps with insurance claims and there is kind of like a little almost looks like a little pathway right here to a little area back there uh, might be a little water retaining area actually there might be a, a better way to get to it over here probably not actually i'm trying to find if we can get to that little uh, patch back there could be kind of neat to for kids to kind of wander around and um, look around and that kind of thing so um, it'd be kind of neat growing up in that I would I'm not gonna lie and it looks like there's probably uh, some crops back there a field for farmer farming and that kind of thing so I'm not gonna go back there it's pretty wet uh, it's actually a, lifted a little bit it was a lot worse earlier uh, with the wind and the rain and that kind of stuff beautiful Dayton weather right but um, anyway, so that's pretty much it. I will say that these trees are a little too close. You typically want your trees 15 feet away from the house. Um, so uh, even though these pretty much go straight up and these are probably your better variety to be close to the house, uh, mainly because they're not gonna fall over, have any tree limbs fall on the roof once it gets there but still the problem is the roots. So the roots will get into the concrete and break through and then you're gonna have some moisture intrusion um, into the basement areas or the foundation. So definitely good to keep those away from the house. 15 is recommended, um, sort of like what you see right here with this brush over here is uh, probably about where you would see the minimum distance away from the house. So better the, the further the better. But overall, looks pretty good. I'd say, um, you know, it has a lot of pros to it. Okay, I can see the roof a little bit. It is wet though, but that's your cheaper variety of roof. That's probably your 20 to, um, I'd say about 20 year roof um, in this area, especially. And that's not your multi-dimensional. It's one of the cheaper varieties, but you do have, I believe one layer. So you can put another layer on if it ever goes bad. It actually looks like it's pretty good. There's not too many I actually can't see any nail pops. Um, there might be one minor nail pop right there. You probably can't see it. But overall, it looks pretty, pretty flat. Looks pretty good. Um, so, but anyway, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. If you want to put an offer, let me know. As always, this is Howie with Team, uh, Team Next with Home Experts Realty. Signing off. Take care.